Hi Virgo, I'm G1 Matter with G1 Insights. Shout out to all of those of you that are new to my page. Virgo, this is your um, extended mini love reading for the month of April 2020. There's a lot going on here, Virgo. You know, there's a lot of... Um, I feel like you guys are really seeking a lot of answers this season. So this is interesting. Let me fix the camera so you guys can fully really see me and everything i don't know my end it looks a little fuzzy so let me move it a little bit okay all right so let's begin virgo okay let's see what's going on with your beautiful energy this season i hope you guys have been safe and sound and stable and keeping yourself together and not worrying too much okay the month of april is all about beginnings you know Starting fresh, starting over, doing something brand new, okay? Let's see what Virgo has for the month of April 2020 in your love zone. So Virgo, so far we have received this energy about, you know, being receptive, you know, bringing in what you need, tapping into the energy of manifestation, okay? But something is arriving just when you least expect it. Something is coming to you. It's like you manifested this thing and you didn't know that it was going to really happen, but it actually happens for you here in the month of April. So this is really beautiful energy. For those of you also, some of you, um, it seems like you guys can be bringing closure to a particular relationship or possibly um, some type of issue or um, obligation or obstacle that was once in you guys' way, like between you and your spouse, of course. Um, I feel like those things are moving along, okay? Some of you are actually making an actual move here because we have the boat energy here. So this is definitely about you guys moving forward and doing something um, beyond you, something that you haven't done, okay? Let's look a little deeper into the cards and see what clarity we can come with that, okay? Ooh, passion. Virgo, you are the first zodiac sign to get this. Passion, this is really, really beautiful. You are the first zodiac sign to get this. Um, but it's talking about chemistry, you know, again, I feel like you guys are making a change or moving forward or choosing love and passion over any and everything else, okay? Um, this is just a, a need for you guys to really, really zoom in on each other and focus on each other a bit more and not spend so much time criticizing one another, okay? You don't want to spend a lot of time being critical of your spouse or them being critical of you. So this is probably the best season for you guys to try to find something that really, really makes the both of you smile, that makes both of you happy, you know, that brings back old memories of like when you first met. You know, this is probably the time to be like, you know, if you want to reminisce, fine, but just don't get stuck there. I feel like you're only being reminded of the past only so you can move forward and just kind of learn from everything that you and your spouse been through in the past, you know. So, yeah, think about the past. Think about your good times. You know, cherish those good times and even the bad times. You know, we want to embrace those bad times as well. But as you move forward, this is perfect for you to... Say, wow, I remember when we went through that, babe. Remember how we got over that? Remember how we, you know, got over that little hurdle or that little obstacle? I'm sure we can get through this too, you know? So it's a very deep, deep energy here about reassuring, like, that type of faith in your relationship or your marriage, okay? Let's move on, guys. So I also see the chaser. So, guys, this is really, really interesting. A lot of us are getting, like, this whole twin flame energy this season, you know, the number four is definitely broken down into two, which is then broken down into one. So when you put one and one together, you get two, and two and two equals four. So again, there's that dual energy, okay, that twin flame energy. 2020, same thing. This is all about new beginnings, a new start, starting over, a new project, and so forth. But... This particular time during the month of April is really for you and your spouse to kind of reignite that passion because I feel like, you know, um, one of you have some type of abandonment issues or is afraid of the outcome. Some of you want to get married, but you're afraid of getting married. Some of you um, may be faced with a reality that maybe someone is not for you, okay? Or this person may be making you feel that way, okay? Either way, Virgo, you know, there's definitely like this... Um, 
And it's not just you, Virgo. A lot of people are going through this season in the month of April when it comes to love. Like this push and pull, tug of war type of energy, you know. Um, like I said, with the boat energy being here, somebody is definitely moving forward, okay. Um, I don't know if you guys are moving forward from a past love or moving forward in a new love, which will probably be good. But if this is a new love, then one of you are the chaser, obviously, because that's what twin flame energy is. And then the other you, um, other person could be the runner, okay? In twin flame energy, we have the runner and we have the chaser. That is what that energy is all about. And apparently, either you or this person is the chaser, okay, guys? So let's see what else. Let's go a little further. Ooh, love call. Cancer got the same energy, guys. I think it was cancer. Yeah, I think it was cancer. Someone expresses love or a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So again, somebody is feeling like, look, I'm chasing you. I'm not giving up on us. You know, I realize, you know, we really need to get over the past. We need to get over our fears. We need to, like, let it be known that we're in love and we're crazy about each other, right? And then some of you are, like, meeting, like, this fresh energy, like this new person, right? And this person is just like a, a fresh breath of air, like... They don't want to let you go. They love everything about you. You know, they love your energy. They love how smart you are. You know, they love how sweet you are, how organized you are, right? My only strong advice for you, Virgo, this season, because we're going to have a full moon in Libra around the 7th or 8th, give, take a day. And then we're going to have the sun going to Taurus around the 22nd. Then we have the new moon in Taurus as well. So the month of April can be a bit tricky for a lot of deep lovers, okay? Now, that first week of April, Gemini will have Venus in his sign. And that's going to be very spontaneous, flirtatious, and fun for a lot of earth signs. And, you know, so you guys is literally going to be like in the middle of a bliss, you know? Where did you come from? You know, feeling like that, that, that love that you haven't felt in a while, you know? Um, and I feel like it's well-deserving, considering everything that is going on, it's well-deserving, you know? But I think that you, Virgo, need to really zoom in and, you know, really, really don't be afraid to leave your fears in the past. Any type of past hurts, you want to leave them in the past. If you are considering to get closure, you know... I, and I've experienced that, Virgo. You know, I've been with someone before where it really did take me a long time to get over that person, to get over the closure, you know. Like, I felt like for a whole two, two years, I didn't get closure. And when I finally did get my closure, I felt so much better. I was like, you never said sorry to me. You devastated me. You embarrassed me. You humiliated me. You know, you made me feel this small. And at once... Did you ever apologize, you know? And when I poured out my heart that way, they had no choice but to say, damn, I didn't even know you felt that way, you know? And they apologized to me, but I'm not going to lie. Even in that moment, I still did not feel complete. I felt complete when he said, I'm sorry, and when he actually left. That is when I felt complete because I didn't have to see him anymore. I was no longer reminded of his energy anymore. I was no longer around that person anymore. So even though it still took me a while to go through the process of the cold closure thing, right? I still gave myself permission to grieve, to cry, to get over it, to let it go. And as I began to do that, I began to notice all kind of brand new love all around me. So you, Virgo, are being blessed in a very special way, Virgo, because a lot of you are even leaving old habits in the past, you know? A lot of you are saying, no, I really need closure in this particular area. I still have feelings for someone, you know? And you need to address that, Virgo. The younger, you know, and I'm going to do a video on this one day, but <sighs> Virgo, the younger you are is probably the best. To really, really team up with someone and to get to know them and to fall in love and to be happy. You know, it's not saying that everything is going to be perfect. But what it's saying is that you don't want to be old and grumpy and miserable and toxic and negative. Like, you don't want those traits as an older person, you know. You want to say, I came, I saw, I conquered. Love has been good to me. I have been good to love. It has been a great experience. And it is what it is. But you do not want to leave this earth 
with all that baggage and all of that pain and you all of that torture. Like you don't want to leave this earth not having that solid foundation within, you know. So this is really, really important to keep yourself intact during this season and during this trying time, okay. So Virgo, let's see what your soul is yearning for. Let's see what the universe has for you in regards to your soul, okay, guys. So let's look a little deeper. Please show us Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and Virgo for the month of. April 2020. Well, Virgo, I see a lot of you, you know, reaching out, trying to have fun, going on dates and calling somebody up saying, hey, I can't wait to see you. You know, I really miss you. It could be you doing the love call, you know. Maybe you're the one reaching out, letting them know, hey, I'm thinking of you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to, you know, do some other great stuff to you. <laughs> Virgo, a lot of you guys are really... um Wearing your heart on your sleeve this season. And that's not really totally like your thing, you know. But this season is happening. Oh, wow. Okay, you saw that, right? Okay. Peace. I love that. All right, this message is for Virgo. Someone arising or Venus in Virgo. This is your extended mini love focus for the month of April 2020. Let's see what your soul is going for. What spirit wants to share with your soul's energy when it comes to love. Thank you, Spirit, for that information. Thank you, Shana, for wanting to know. I just heard somebody maybe wanting to share their feelings with you, but they're just not confident enough. Or maybe they're in fear of rejection, that you will reject them and not embrace them. So again, Virgo, be very mindful of your criticism, you know. Um, and even if you are already coupled up, somebody may still feel like they want to express their love to you, but they feel like if they say it, they may be criticized harshly or be judged. So be very, be cautious of that energy, okay, guys? Oh, freedom. That's the first. <laughs> For the month of April, anyway. I know in March it came out a lot. Okay. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Absolutely. Like I said, with you guys being so ready to just move forward, like I said, you're leaving the past in the past. You're realizing that passion is all that matters. I'm going to call my baby up. I'm going to spend some quality time with you. I'm going to tell you how much I love you and how much I'm thinking of you. Okay? I'm done being the, ch you know, I'm, well, I'm done being the runner. I'm ready to be the chaser. You know? And so this is beautiful, guys. But this is not your twin flame. And this is definitely soulmate's energy, guys. Okay, or a karmic relationship. A lot of times when we're in relationships, they are definitely a reflection of who we really are. So instead of a, us being critical or judgmental, this is a time for us to embrace this individual, okay? To share that compassion and that love towards them, okay? So Virgo, I love you. Thank you for your beautiful energy. You guys have been so super patient and amazing. And I thank you for subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you guys as one of my subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button right there. It's like right there. Just look down there, right? All right? And share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message, okay? Until next time, I'm super excited to see what your May reading is going to bring you guys. You know, um, I've just been having so many thoughts about doing love energy um, and extended love energy to see where we all can be going from here in regards to love. So I'm super excited to know that you're looking at things in a much more positive perspective. So I'm so proud of you, Virgo. Until next time, I love you.